This is an update video for my tutorial on how to complete all the Season 3 Zombies challenges in Cold War Zombies. This is not a tutorial for all of the challenges, this is just an update on a few of them. If you guys need a full tutorial for all of the challenges, I will put a card up on the screen right now to my original video, make sure you go watch that one after you're done watching this video. So I hope you guys do enjoy, if you do, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you are new. If you guys are still having trouble after this update video, please let me know down below in the comments and I will try and help you out even more. But if I do end up helping you, let me know also down below in the comments. So with that being said, let's jump straight into this video. Before I go over these challenges, I want to go over my class setup real quick. For some reason, I never thought to do this in my original video, so here we are doing it in my update video. Now, obviously, we're using the best weapon in this game, the Howard 77, and you want to put these attachments on it. For your muzzle, you want to put the sock on Blast Mitigator, or however you pronounce that. For the barrel, this is your choice. You could either run the 25.2 inch Task Force, or you could run the Cavalry Lancer. Both are really good, so it depends on if you want to be able to one-shot all the armored zombies, or if you want to deal more damage to the non-armored zombies. If you want more damage towards armored zombies, run the Cavalry Lancer. If you just want bonus damage for the bosses and the normal zombies, put on the 25.2 inch Task Force. For the body, you want to put on the Ember Siding Point. For the magazine, you want to put on the 8 round tube. And for the stock, you want to put on a marathon pad. In this video, I will be covering 4 challenges. These 4 challenges, I would probably say are the four hardest challenges to complete in Season 3, but at the very least, these four challenges people have a lot of trouble with, so I'm going to be going further in depth with how I completed them, and how I would recommend that you guys complete them as well. Starting off with the Unshakable Challenge. Now for the Unshakable Challenge, I misspoke in my original video. I said you have to kill the Demented Echoes before they got a hold of you. Now that does work, as you guys can see right here, but you don't have to kill him before he grabs you. All you have to do is kill the horde he spawns and that'll count as well. I apologize about the mistake I made in my original video, but at least now you guys know that you don't have to kill him and that's the only thing that'll count. You can kill the horde he spawns in as well and that'll also count towards this challenge. Next up is Crack the Shell. For the Crack the Shell challenge, you have to destroy 50 pieces of armor with the Shatter Blast ammo mod. For this challenge, you cannot use armored zombies to complete this challenge. You have to complete it with manglers. I have tried to complete this challenge with normal armored zombies countless times, and they have never worked. If they end up patching this, I will leave a pinned comment down below saying such. So if you still need to complete this challenge, check the pinned comment first to see if you can use normal armored zombies to complete this. I have no idea when they will patch this though. Because at the time of me recording this, this has been glitched for almost 3 weeks now and they still haven't patched it. But anyways, you can do this on any map that has manglers. So you could do it on Firebase E, Onslaught, Onslaught Containment, or Outbreak. Onslaught Containment spawns the most, but getting the Shatter Blast ammo mod would be pretty difficult. And I know a lot of people don't have access to Onslaught Containment. So I would just recommend going on Outbreak. Work on other challenges while you're doing this challenge. Don't go out your way for this. Just if you see a mangler, Shoot its armor plate until the Shatter Blast pops it off. Shatter Blast has a 30 second cooldown, so if you want to be as efficient as you possibly can be doing this challenge, activate Shatter Blast on the Mangler and wait 30 seconds to use it again. Next up, we have the Untouchable Challenge. For the Untouchable Challenge, you want to try and get the Escort Challenge on Round 1. Furthermore, I would recommend doing this on Alpine. I like doing this on Alpine because I think this challenge is the easiest to complete on Alpine. As you guys can see from this gameplay though, you don't have to do it on Alpine. I did it on Ruka in this gameplay, but I've completed this challenge on Alpine as well and I would definitely recommend doing this on Alpine. Once you finally get all of that, you want to get 3 charges of your Tier 5 Frost Blast, Speed Cola, Elemental Pop, and your Howard Pack a bunch at least once and Green Rarity. All of this might be overkill to you, but if you get all of this, you're almost guaranteed to complete this first try. Once you get fully set up, kill all the nearby zombies and start the objective. Once you start it, stay in front of the rover at all times. This is the key to completing this challenge. Once you hear or see zombies spawning, run away from the rover and kill all of the zombies that spawn. Most of the time, it'll be anywhere from 3 to 6 zombies. Kill all the zombies that spawned in and resume escorting the rover. For the dogs, try and pick them off early, but if you catch yourself starting to panic, do not hesitate to pop a frost blast to kill all of them. Also, depending on what type of dog you had to kill, make sure that the fire or the gas is completely gone before you continue to escort the rover. Because the fire or the gas the dogs leave behind can and will do damage to the rover. Just keep repeating this every time you hear or see zombies spawning, and once the objective is complete and it took no damage, congratulations, you have completed this challenge. Last, but certainly not least, we have the Back in My Day Challenge. 
for back in my day, I saw some people saying that you can't use a death machine for this challenge, and that is not true. I even accidentally went to round 4 and I still completed this challenge. I would recommend running the Hower with tier 5 Ether Shroud. Once you load into round 1, do the objective, then go to the beacon. This won't be difficult at all, just complete this, and once you get to the beacon, you want to set up a little bit. So the first perk you want to buy is Jug. If you have enough, you either want to buy Stamina Up or Quick Revive. You could also do the side quest marked by the skulls on the map to get a free perk. Also, make sure you buy a death machine, but don't use it unless you need it. This death machine will serve more or less as a get out of jail free card for this challenge. Once you get all that, warp to round 2, and round 2 will be more difficult, but you should be able to do it just fine. Try not to use a death machine, just be patient. The reason I said run tier 5 ether shroud is because it'll make completing the objective easier. Especially if you get the retreat challenge. The retreat challenge is so easy, if you just pop an ether shroud, Right before you grab the ethereum crystal, you'll get a speed boost and designers will run away from you. Do the round 2 objective, then go to the beacon and buy all your perks besides elemental pop. I say don't buy elemental pop because it might glitch out and an AAT going off might count as you not killing the designers with your starting loadout. I don't know for sure though. If you have every perk except elemental pop and you have a death machine ready, warp to round 3 and do the objective. If you get the holdout, you might have to restart, but you're most likely going to have to use a death machine. I cannot stress this enough. Take your time. Unless it is a timed objective and you're almost out of time, there is no reason to rush this. You are severely underpowered, so you have to take this slow. Be patient and try to ignore the bosses as much as you can as you see me do here. Once you've finished the round 3 objective, Buy some ammo and head to the beacon. By this point, you want to be fully set up, so make sure you have max ammo in your red rarity, non-pack a punch tower. Make sure you have all your perks, make sure you have a full death machine, and once you have all that, go ahead and exfil. I accidentally clicked warp on round 3, so that's why I did this on round 4. By the way, the first 3 rounds of this game are from a completely different recording. I just want to show you that this is possible even after round 3. Once you start to exfil, get there as fast as possible. You could get there by driving a car there, you could run into the portals that sit on the barrier of the map, you could use a Wonder Sphere, or you could just run there with your tier 5 stamina beneath the shroud. Once you're at the exfil site, however, you just want to kill the zombies and bosses with your death machine, but make sure you get a kill or two with your Howard, just to make sure that this doesn't glitch out. But kill all the zombies in exfil, and congratulations! you have successfully completed the back in my day challenge. Hopefully this was able to work for you guys. I seen some people in the comments in my original video on how to complete other season 3 challenges saying that you can't use a death machine for this challenge and I knew that that wasn't the case so hopefully I was able to help you guys with this video. If you guys did enjoy, do me a huge favor and drop a like, subscribe if you are new, comment down below what challenge you are having trouble with and if I was able to help you complete the challenge. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you guys are having any trouble completing any of these challenges still, let me know down below as well and I will try to help you. Share this video with anybody who needs help completing the season 3 challenges. If you really enjoy my content and you want to support me more, click the join button down below. Check out some of my videos on the end screen and with that being said, this is Joltz, signing out. Peace.